first of all, we're glad that you're with us, Thank alive. You. <laughs> Me too. Uh, have you seen the graphic photos of your mm -hmm. mom's face following the trauma? Yes. You guys saw it in person or just on the I saw it in person. You did? Yeah. What do you mean? Um, I was actually with her in the wreck, so. Just not on the same bike. Yeah. So you saw this, how old were you? 10. You were 10? How old were you? 14. So what exactly happened? Is that all you know, gravel trauma? My leg was trapped, so my upper body came over, and I face-planted the eye beam behind the guardrail. Oh, God. Actually, she wrecked in front of a paramedic's house, and he heard a little girl scream, that obviously, yeah. And so he came running over, and he had her all ready before like oh, ambulance yeah. even got there. Like So he saved your yeah. life. Hope is very lucky that a paramedic was there Ironically, the unluckiest day in her life was also, weirdly, one of the luckiest. How many surgeries to reconstruct your face? I've had seven. What'd you do about food? I had a feeding tube. For how long did you have that feeding tube? Been for a for year? For a year, yeah. Let me ask you a question. When you look in the mirror and you say, this one or two things bothers me the most, that you wish you could just make go away. My eye. What about your eye? I don't have two of the same eye. You have a little unevenness between the eyes? Yeah. And then um, they did do a nose surgery. Just the scar tissue on the right side is just really a lot of scar tissue in there. Like, if I had to rely on it to breathe, I'd suffocate. And so you have right they, nasal airway obstruction. Yeah. Could you just tell me a little bit about this emotional journey? Because your mom, who you love more than anything in the world, has a major injury, could have died. She comes home, and what was that like? I really just don't remember. You don't remember what? The details of, like, what Having I did to on a daily basis. Did you know that? This is the first time you're hearing that she block she's blocking out this whole traumatic incident. How do you feel about that? Not good. <laughs> I mean... I feel like what happened to me is nothing compared to what happened to them. Emotionally, I feel like they're always gonna carry that.